Hi everyone, welcome back to Abra Knowledge Channel. Today's topic is all about correlation and covariances. So these two topics we are going to dwell today and two tools we are going to use it. One is called mini tab and we will see the output what is coming up in the mini tab. The same thing we, which we will also will be doing in data tab and compare the output, compare the, you know, the value like P value, Pearson value and all that and determine which is most feasible and all that, right? So in order to do that, this is the height. Uh, the, let me introduce my data set. This is height and weight, two variables I have. And this has been recorded as height, uh, the 20 values I have. And exactly the same thing, weight, I have 20 values, right? I would like to determine whether the height and weight both are correlated or not. So one way we, we can do it, we can find out through the regression, right? That is one way. Another way is we can do directly using correlation. So correlation, you can find it like basic, base, I mean, statistic, basic statistic, and you have something called correlation, right? Have a click on correlation. And once it is done, so I have already given like height and weight. Let me give you F3 so that it will delete off height and weight. And you have a choice there. So in both the tools, you have a choice. Uh, Pearson correlation, and you also have experiment row, right? So I'm going to use Pearson uh, correlation that is commonly used and display the P value also as well. Give OK. And quickly, it has found out the value. For example, the P value, uh, the Pearson correlation of height and weight is 0 0.080, right? 0.85, sorry, 0.85. Exactly the P value also it has found out that right? P value is zero. Let's see the same thing in the, this is all about the correlation. Let me also do the covariances also as well. Covariances, exactly the same, you know, we need to pass through. Stat, statistic called stat, basic statistic, and then covariances. Have a go and click on it. And you will have like height and weight is already there. I'm going to give OK. So now it says that height and weight, and it has given the matrix height and weight 32 and 40 and 68. Let's see the same value. We got four values. One, we got the person value 0 0.850. Another one P value is zero. And you have height and height 32 and weight we got 40 and 68. Let's see how it goes with data tab. So data tab, just to give a quick uh, recap. So data tab is all about the browser. Uh, it works in all the browser, right? So this is the same data set I have pasted here also as well, right? So all you need to do is you need to click the uh, correlation. And in this correlation and the another thing is covariances, both are combined. You can find out easily. So let me just select it. And the metric variables, I have both the variables I have, weight and uh, height and weight. And I'm going to use the Pearson method. And uh, just like Minitab also has got another method, like this also has got another method. Uh, so I'm okay with the person and uh, valid cases 20 because 20 data set I have. Let's see what is the value. So you can see here the correlation value and the height, height is 1 and weight is 0.85. Exactly the same if it is 1 centimeter, this height is 0.85 gram, right? Exactly if it is 0.85 gram, it is 1 centimeter of height so this is the correl it also has given that uh, graph also as well uh, it has a beautiful graph of height and weight and what else value we have so let's see and it also has the p value let me just scroll down a bit yeah so height correlation is 0.85 fantastic p value is less than zero uh, in precisely binitab has given it zero 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 so it's it's fair enough so less than 0 0.001 and weight is 0.85 and this is the exact value we got it we also got the co uh, covariances in mini tab you have to do it separately uh, correlation you have to do separately and covariances uh, you have to do, uh, do it separately in these things both comes together exactly the weight we have got 32.45 exactly we, we got in the mini tab and 40 and 68 so i hope the correlation and covariances are very e easy and helpful for you. And also it has given a little bit of details like how to interpret, uh, you know, how to uh, know the values and all that it has given. You can also take a look on this uh, one. But actually data type is much faster 
all you need to do is you need to uh, insert the value and then click this one automatically correlation as well as covariances comes together thank you so much i'll be making much more video on uh, various topics as such please do like share subscribe my channel you have wonderful day ahead